Bowman here from BW1.com and we're going to do an unboxing, setup, and first impressions of the Microsoft Surface. Microsoft Surface just got released yesterday. It is the new Windows RT tablet directly from Microsoft, running Windows 8, well Windows RT, but it looks a lot like Windows 8 here. And it's really Microsoft's kind of first time they're really trying to tie in hardware and software into one complete solution for the customer. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. Interesting box as you can see here, interesting packaging. Like it, pretty unique to uh, to Microsoft, and it, we have the Surface Plus a Touch cover included with the one that we got here. Let's go ahead and take this piece of tape off, just like that, and we'll just slide it out. Like this. There we go. See another surface there. Oh, looks like another piece of tape. At least to make the tape pretty easy to peel off. That's a pretty good thing. Not normally you see that in a lot of products. That's good. All right, opens up like that, pretty cool. So you have the surface here itself, and we'll go to that in just a second. Looks like we have some manuals, guides, and instructions here. So we also have the uh, your uh, all charger here. Looks like it uses a proprietary plug for the charger there. It's pretty cool, nice look to it. Windows RT logo right on the charger there. Let's see, and that should be just about it. I don't see anything else here. Up in this box, we'll go ahead and put this to the side. And here we have the magnetic um, touch cover here. This is the one that is sort of all touch. You can get the type cover one as well too, which is more physical keys. Oh, let's go ahead and see if we can pop this out here. It pops out like that. Nice, nice. So we have here on the side, anything slides out here, more surface information. Looks like some more warranty information, give you an idea how to use the keyboard and the different, um, different uh, ways you can set it up. All right, pretty cool there. Looks like that's pretty much it for that. All right, let's go ahead and bring the surface back here, remove the plastic from it. Really excited to use this thing. I'm really, really, really excited about it because I'm really interested in seeing what Microsoft would offer in sort of that tablet, uh, laptop conversion here, giving people the ability to not only consume content, but create as well too. See, nice, light, pretty cool. Not the thinnest tablet out there, but it feels really good. It has sort of a, and in a, a, I'd say more of an industrial design to it. So not, not so many soft edges as you would as you'd expect with a lot of products you see these days. Let's go ahead and you can see right here at the front, we have a 10.6 inch HD display using clear type HD is what they call it. You have a front facing camera that's also HD and it's at a 22 degree angle. So no matter how you're leaning it, if you lean it on the kickstand, you'll still be able to, um, the camera will still face you forward so you still get a forward direction. All right, looks like you have the touch sensitive button here. That's your home button. Here at the bottom, you have the dock connection right there for the keyboard. You have your uh, charging connection, full USB port. It's like you have mini HDMI there, speaker. Come up here on this side, you have your power button. It's like you have two, it look, look like two more speakers there. Another speaker here on this side, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you have your volume rocker right there. And if we look here on the back, we do have a, another um, rear face, we have a rear facing camera right here that's also HD as well too. And it's also with that same 22 degree angle, so it'll be able to face you no matter if it's sitting on a kickstand or not. And speaking of that, that's the kickstand, which is this piece right here. Let's see if we just pop this out. See the kickstand right there, pretty cool. And the version we got is a 32 gigabyte version, stands up just like that. It does come with NVIDIA, um, Tegra. Actually, let's power this up here and we'll go over the specs as it's powering up. It does come with an NVIDIA. Tegra 3 uh, process. This is a quad core processor inside of it, so this is an ARM based, something new for Windows as well too. That's why they have Windows RT, yeah, but it's still pretty much Windows 8 for the most part. It does um, come with two gigabytes of RAM. We have 32 gigabytes of storage in this particular one as well too. Um, it also has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, those things that you would expect with it as well too. And a, and a tablet sort of hybrid there, pretty cool. And as we have it loading up here, take a look here at the keyboard itself. It's a very uh, as it loads up there, you can see a thin keyboard, feels thin light, it works as the cover at, at the same time as well too, that'll shut the device on and off. Uh, and um, see it has nice up, uh, sort of uh, nice cover here, um, um, material, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's pretty nice there on the back. All right, your display language, we're gonna go ahead and set this up here, go with English. Yeah, let's choose first, I'll go with English there, hit next. Yep, we accept these terms, of course. Let's go ahead and personalize, start with the personalization. We can change the different colors, schemes. Let's try, uh, let's see. Let's try 
How does that scheme look on the camera? Try. Eh, we'll try that scheme green. It's pretty cool. And we can give it a name. We'll call it uh, we'll call it BW1. BW1 surface. BW1 surface. All right. Hit next. All right. We'll go ahead and connect to the wireless here. Go ahead and put the password in. Just give me a second here as I do that. Got it connected here. We can do two, two different things here. We can do the express settings or customize. And basically, express settings will go through and just pretty much set it up. You can um, help protect your PC from a safe website. Turn on Do Not Track in your Explorer. Help Microsoft uh, improve software. Check online for problems. Let maps get personalized, personalized content based on you can see right there. But we'll go ahead and customize and see what they ask here. First thing they ask you is, is your first time on this network? Do you want to turn on sharing between PCs? Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that on. Help protect your privacy on your PC. Turn Windows um, Smart Screen Filter to check files and apps of Microsoft. Turn on Internet Explorer Smart Screen Filter to check bureaus and downloads of Microsoft. Send a do not track request to websites you visit. Yep, we can keep all that there. You can see help improve Windows by, uh, by sending URLs for web content. Help Microsoft respond to malicious apps and malware. You kind of get the idea here. This is sending information to Microsoft. You want them to track you and, uh, and stuff like that. Check online for solutions. Share info with us. We'll go ahead and connect them here. We have the region there. Hit next. All right. We have to sign in here. Let me go ahead and sign in with my Microsoft account. We'll do it here. So I'll actually connect the keyboard as well too. You see how all this snaps in just like that. You can see it there. Show you one more time with the keyboard. You really can't get it wrong. And where you put it, it snaps right in just like that. We can go ahead and kick out the, go ahead and kick out the uh, kickstand like that and it stands up like that. Let's go ahead and type in my address here. All right, you can see I'm typing on the keyboard. Backspace, let's see here. There we go. My live account here, pretty cool. Go ahead and enter. All right, checking to see if it's a Microsoft account. Well, I got I push it up so you can kind of see me type on the keyboard a little bit here. It is flat, very, very flat. So it's like it's a little bit different when you're typing on it compared to uh, sort of when you have raised keyboard. So it's a bit of a different feel, but it does type pretty well. So let me go ahead and type in the password here. Give me one second. All right, you can see here it's in the process of finalizing our settings. Anything set up it says hi, hello. <laughs> While we're getting things ready, check out the new ways to use Windows. That's gonna go through, I guess, a little uh, demo here. Oh, pretty cool teaching you after your PC is ready. Swipe from the edge. I guess swipe just like that, I guess. I guess it's gonna show you as we go through that. So we'll probably skip ahead on this or fast forward through it. All right, after a little bit of a lengthy setup, it's just kind of doing its setup in the background. It kind of goes, kind of gives you a few ideas on how to use the device itself and how to install apps and such like that. So it took the time to give us a bit of a different camera angle here. So you can take a look here at the surface. It has us all set up here, it has photos that I've uploaded and my friends and stuff like that through Messenger, pretty cool. Let's see, we can go ahead and open up some of the applications. I know the one thing you're interested in, desktop, just go right into that, just basically the basic desktop that you see in Windows with the previews of uh, Microsoft uh, Office. You can open up uh, Word, because I has Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and uh, Note. There isn't um, our um, Outlook just yet with this, so As you can see here, we can set up a new document if we wanted to. Pretty simple there, and we can actually go through a little welcome, looks like here too, but we'll go ahead and uh, there open up Excel see if we can bring things around you can see we can move things around like that pretty cool let's go ahead and we swipe to the side here we can bring up the different charms these are what they, that's what they basically call these here on the side charms go ahead and hit back here into the start menu shrink back down really fast real snappy I definitely noticed that while using it here it's really fast and really responsive let's see here we have photos like this is my cousin or something there see it looks like it's bringing up photos from some of my live account I can add Facebook and a few other accounts if I want to as well too. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, right. Unless we can stream from my um, desktop as well. Go ahead and hit home there. And mail. So I'll probably have to set that up. 
And my computer kicked on there on the back. Right there. Looks like there's probably a setup with the mail, but we'll come back to that. Bring that up here. I know one thing that's cool if we bring it over here to the side, you can split like that. You can sort of multitask between different applications. Swipe up to bring up the charms and stuff. Swipe down to close out an application, I believe, like that. And hit home there. So, all right, that's just a quick uh, kind of look at it here. My first impressions of it is it's really cool, really nice. Let's check out the camera as well, too, so we can pop that open. Can the camera use webcam? Oh, I hadn't allowed that. You can see right there the camera. Pretty cool. You can see my uh, lights here in the background. Go ahead and a bit of widen it out there just a little bit. A little dark there, but you can see, and I think we can um, change the other end. You can see my monitor and keyboard there in the rear. You have different camera options. Let's see, bring that up. Looks like I have up to one megapixel, 16 by 10. Microsoft uh, for the microphone, this built-in microphone, of course. Switch to video mode. Let's see what video mode has to offer. Looks like we have 720p and it's even 800p, 16 by 10, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and hit home there. They have weather, we can set up weather, of course. Go ahead and do that later see if it's going to set it up it's just fun I'm, it's fun just to kind of discover everything here within it it's really nice just to go around and look at the ui and everything because it's a really elegant and really nice look it's what you've seen in windows phone but they've really expanded it out and really given its own unique look and design and feel and i really do like that about um so far with uh windows 8 and windows rt here with the uh, surface let's go ahead and head back home here go okay the cool thing here, I've been showing you the typer, we can actually use it to uh, basically put the device to sleep like that and provide protection as well too. Pretty cool. Get an idea what that looks like there. There we go. We'll go ahead and uh, back up. Should turn it right back on just like that. Brings up to that lock, lock screen. You can swipe it up like that and there you go. So pretty cool stuff here that we've seen so far with the uh, Microsoft Surface. We're definitely gonna give you a full review, really, um, really bang this around, really get in there and see um, how how well and how good it's gonna work for you. Because it is Windows RT, so you don't get the uh, ability to install legacy applications with it. But there is gonna be apps available, obviously, from the App Store, which we have right there. So it's gonna be interesting to see if you really can survive just really working out of this the App Store there itself and without having any legacy apps with it. So it's gonna be interesting what particular users are really gonna be able to use this. But for right now, that's just the sort of unboxing setup and first impressions of the Microsoft Surface, the one we've been waiting for for a long time from Microsoft. So to be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, check us out on all of the social networks, Pinterest, um, Google+, all that link is in the description, also with our main website as well. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.